There are so many databases available for use on our library website, but which one is the right one for you? Through these database spotlight videos, we will be showcasing different databases to make sure that you find your perfect match. So let's get started. Hi, and welcome to the very first episode of the database spotlight videos. I'm Anna, an academic outreach librarian here at South Texas College, and I will be your guide. The first thing that I would like to show is our library website. Here, you can search the databases through our discovery search. With that, you'll be searching through 80 of our databases. If you want to look at all of our databases, you can go here under Focus Search or on the left-hand side under Research Tools. If you come to this page, you can filter by subject or by type. For this episode, I'm going to be doing Not in Discovery. For our first database spotlight, we will be going over A to Z Food America. As you can see here, there is always a featuring today and it'll showcase a different state each and every day. You can always select a category, browse by state, browse by region, browse by ethnic group, historical, ingredients, or reference. I want to show off the browse by state feature and I'm going to choose Texas because that's where I live. Here is the overview of Texas, but you can go to Classic Dishes. This page contains the state's popular dishes. If you want to view an item, it will take you to the recipe. It will give you prep time, cook time, total time, if it's vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free. It gives you the ingredients and the instructions. You can go to State Foods and this goes into the history of each state food which is great for all you history buffs or if you are taking culinary classes you never know when you'll need this. Top agricultural products. This also has a bit of history and fun facts for you. Farmers markets which as you can see it goes to the closest one near you and then further and further out. I did you know section. Again, great info for those who like to know all the fun facts that are out there. Another thing that I want to point out is the select language, which is a great tool. You know, if English isn't your first language, you can come in here and let's say your first language is Japanese, you feel more comfortable with that. It will translate it for you. If you want to revert it back to English, all you have to do is click on it and then go to the top left corner for English. The next area that I want to show off is under site menu and it is how food is made. This area is an excellent resource for a newbie like yours truly. It has videos which explains the technique or the preparation and it goes into the full video explanation which is fantastic especially if you're a visual learner like me. The only difference that I noticed between the tab on the left hand side and the main area of the how food is made section is the spice blends which is located on the tab but it's not located in the main area. The next thing that I want to point out is reference. The reference page is a great resource for everyone. If you want to know about food inventions or you want to know cooking conversions, this is the place for you. If you don't know how to pronounce something, you can actually go here to the video dictionary. This is a neat little tool that has a person pronouncing the ingredients and you can even change the language if you'd like. The final thing that I would like to highlight is cite this document button. There will be a pop-up and you can get Chicago style, MLA, or APA. Just remember to double check the citation to make sure everything is correct. This concludes our first episode of the Database Spotlight videos, where you learn to maneuver your way through A to Z Food America. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you'll join us next time. Bye!